Lesson 95, we're going to look at translating and dilating uh, circles on a coordinate grid. Now, just a refresher, the equation of a circle, okay, or equation to graph a circle, is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. h and k are your center, and then r is your radius, okay, your distance from the center to an end point on the circle. <clears throat> so, in example one, it gives us a circle um, with this equation, and it wants us to translate it four to the left and two down. So how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to uh, help by kind of trying to draw this first. Okay. It gives us, and what we want to start is find the HK, all right, or find the center. All right, what is my center? Well, my center is going to be, now notice they give negative 3 and positive 2. So let's break these down, negative 3 and positive 2. Notice in the formula, it's x minus h squared. So if I have a negative 3 here, that means my h is a positive 3. Because if I was to plug in that 3 to the formula, that would make it negative. Now notice my k is a positive 2. So the only way for that to be positive is, is if this was a negative at the center. So it is a negative 2, because if I plugged in a negative 2 to k, it would be a double negative, making it a positive. So my center of this circle is 3, negative 2. 3, negative 2. So I'm going to graph here, 3, negative 2. It has a radius of, if it's 25 and it doesn't say squared, then that means it's the square root of this. So the square root of 25 is 5. So I go 5 units to the right. Okay, five units down, five units up, five units to the left. Okay, so roughly my circle is right there. Really bad drawing of a circle, but okay. It wants us to translate this four left and two down. So literally all you do, if we're going four left and two down, is we're going to move the center. So I'm going to subtract four here. Since we're going to the left, that's negative in a coordinate grid. And then I'm going to subtract two here. All right, from 3, negative 2. That would make my new center at negative 1, negative 4. That would be my new center. So now my equation would be, okay, x, uh, okay, let me get rid of some stuff here. Because it wants the new equation and, uh, scale drawing. The new equation would be x, now it's a negative, so when we put it in it become a plus 1 squared plus y, once again a negative, so plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, or 25. So when I draw that, alright, negative 1, negative 4, There's my center, and I go roughly, you know, five units, okay, just kind of going fast. All right, now I know obviously my drawings are very human, so they're different size, but all that happened was I moved it, this center left four times and down twice, and that is what happened. So my new equation is right here, and my new drawing is right there. So that's how you translate a, a circle. You just move the circle. Now let's look at dilating a circle. Dilating is actually probably a little bit more simple. All right, example two, it says we have x squared plus y squared equals 49, and it wants to dilate by scale factor of two. So if we are dilating a circle, I'm gonna go ahead and draw this out. X squared, Y squared, so there's nothing it's subtracting, so that means origin is the center. Uh, and it has a radius of 7. So here's all my coordinates. Something like that. 
It wants me to dilate this by a scale factor of two. When I dilate, I don't do anything with the center. When I, when I translate, I use the center. But when I dilate, I use the radius. So my radius here is not 49. Once again, it's the square root of 49. So my radius would then be 7. So literally all I do is I scale factor that by 2, meaning I multiply it by 2. So my new radius is 14. And if I was drawing that circle, okay, okay, it would end up being, you know, double the size. But that's how you dilate it. If you wanted it, that scale factor of, you know, one third, you would divide it by three. So dilation, for the scale factor, you're going to look at the radius. Translation, you're going to look at the center. And that's how you translate and dilate circles.